we did it, guys. We finally did it. We broke ourselves out of the rut of having our dinosaurs wiped over and over and over again. And we secured a beast. That's right. The fire griffin. This tiny little fire griffin, which unfortunately doesn't come without sacrifice. The fact it is a little small one means it isn't going to deal as much damage. And its health is going to be a little bit lower than the average. But the speed that this thing exhibits is just undeniable. This guy is an absolute rocket. And today we're going to take it for a spin because we didn't get a chance to yesterday. But guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Modded Survival where, uh, yeah, this thing here, my goodness, took us for a ride, but we got it eventually. Uh, what started as a day trying to saddle up our fire parrot so we could leave the ground um, has led to this guy, which look, we haven't solved all of our problems in taming this guy here. At the end of the day, we have lost all our tames aside from these two right here. Uh, everything. A few times, as a matter of fact, due to uh, a spirit manticore just firing rockets off the top of this mountain, uh, a celestial ferox also firing his little projectiles off of this mountain. Uh, I'm starting to think this mountain might be cursed and we might probably, you know, maybe we should move our base, but what are the chances of that happening again, <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyways, this unfortunately isn't going to unlock uh, progression, I suppose, but it is going to do us wonders moving forward, and I'm about to show you why. I've already gone for a little bit of a flyabout on my friend here. We didn't go too far. I was kind of just checking out what he's capable of, how fast he is. He can duck, he can dive, he can obviously do a uh, big old... I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. He can do this. Big old dive bombs, uh, which do deal damage. Just didn't have anything to damage in my immediate uh, vicinity just then. I feel like we should try again because I do want to see what sort of damage this can do. 3,000. Not terrible, uh, but also not amazing when you're talking about, you know, Triceratops. It is just a basic Triceratops down here. Oh, sweet. I thought it was like a, 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 a fabled one, um, but this is my melee attack. Um, we can we can do pretty solid melee damage. 800. Not the best. Um, in fact, this is not great at all. What we do have though is Fire Breath. And with my Fire Breath, we can pretty much burn anything to a crisp. Um, it's great. Look at that. 1.6, 1,000 damage. 1,600 damage a tick. Uh, the other good thing is, obviously, lays elemental eggs, uh, which I, it's not actually the reason I tamed it, obviously. But elemental eggs are good. We're going to need a lot of them. The downside... I just realized what was running towards me. You see this? That is a kamikaze dodo. Or as I like to call them, explodey dodos. Uh, that is not good. Um, if that thing actually did get to me just then, it would have... I probably would have blown up my farm. And that wouldn't be nice at all. Um, look, not the end of the world. Uh, if I... I don't know how much damage these things do is the only problem. Uh, okay, that's actually a problem. Yeah, he wants me. I just don't want it to kamikaze on me. It means it, it'll explode. It'll... it'll it, and it might kill me. I, I actually have no idea. Um, it's only got 80 damage. What if I breathe fire on it? I died. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, really? Wait, really? <laughs> Excuse me? All right, I didn't expect to die, but my griffin's fine, right? Oh, gosh. I should have just shot it with an arrow, man. I could have poked it. I could have done anything with it. Oh, griffin's fine. Okay, good. Okay, wow. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we learn our lessons, don't we? I guess kamikaze dodos explode. Well, when they die, of course. It's pretty much... They've got like a self-destruct function. I don't even think we've got any loot or anything for it. But we did... Our, our base is safe. So I guess that's a positive. Now, let's go get our armor back on. Um, our little hat here as well. What have we got on us? Um, we do have a few eggs. Um, and I guess that's where I was kind of getting to. We are going to need um, more toxic eggs, alpha eggs. Uh, what other elements have we... What other like tiers have we got? And that's it. Yeah, we're going to need these eggs for kibble moving forward if we want to keep on uh, taming these types of creatures. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, elemental kibble. If we want more of this, we're going to need more alpha eggs. I might have some at base. We'll see. Apex is going to be next, and that requires elemental eggs. So technically, we can tame those. If we want boss kibble, we're going to need toxic eggs. That's fine. Special kibble requires toxic alpha apex. No elemental, though. But I'm pretty sure after Apex, we can jump straight to Elemental Advanced, which is uh, Feathers, which I, we'll get, we, we don't really need to think about that just yet. But I guess what we do qualify then for is... Um, I get, yeah, we qualify for Apexes. We can, we can tame Apex Dinosaurs. We can't yet get our hands on these guys, though. This is an Apex Dinosaur. However, if I do put some levels onto my friend here, 
uh, which we are, we definitely should. Um, let's, well, hey, there's that. I just hit this guy for 12,000 damage, although my, wait, what is that? I don't know. Okay, there's a Beazle juice thing down there. That needs to be taken down. Um, why did this guy not take any damage just then? Oh, there he goes. Now he's taking damage. He also, they also burn. But yeah, I guess this is the point I was getting to. This is where things do turn around because I can actually do good damage. I can escape my targets and we can actually start pulling some pretty good loot. That was a Fable Pteranodon. It didn't drop a bag. Okay, normally Fable, oh yes it did. I was going to say, normally fabled dinosaurs drop pretty good stuff. There's also... Okay, hold on. <laughs> There's another griffin just down the beach over there. Uh, yeah, have a look at this. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. That is some loot. That though. That is a caustic griffin. So like toxic, I guess like acid damage. 300,000 torpor, which is a lot. Um, it's level 580 or something. Compared to my Griffin here, who was only, or is only level, what level were you when I tamed you? Because I just put 20 levels into it. Was it only like a level 180 then? It must have been. Yeah, it must have been like a level 180. Um, yeah, compared to this, that thing would hit like an absolute truck. But we can work our way up from here. It is fine. Now, what do we just get our hands on? Because I saw a new hatchet. Better than my hatchet. Let's replace it. We're getting some pretty solid blueprints here as well. Um, we've got ammunition. And I guess this is where, moving forward, we can finally start to make some changes. Um, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, do I have any other blueprints in here? Nope, not that one. This one here. We've got this long neck rifle, um, which is, yeah, basically what I need to go looking for right this second. Long neck rifles, so we can fire some of these pretty good tranquilizer darts. Uh, the other thing we need to start focusing on, though, is a sniper rifle. This one right here, for example. Uh, very expensive, but yeah, it's a, it's a primal fabricated sniper rifle. That is going to allow us to shoot some, like, toxic tranq uh, bullets like these um, and really start to knock some stuff out. That is going to be, like, fantastic once we can get on that. Even this pike right here, which is pretty expensive, would be fantastic. Um, but basically, I want to weigh this stuff up and see... Um, how close we are to actually being able to do anything with all of it. Um, because that's when we can really start to knock some stuff out um, and, and deal some proper torpor to some dinosaurs. Um, all right, let's grab all that. Stick the blood and the eggs over here. Just keep it all kind of in one place. Um, and then over in here is where I'm going to leave my blueprints. And this is where I want to see what we're missing if we do want to do some upgrades. So... I need a little bit of obsidian and some potent narcotics if we do want to get the, uh, like a pretty good pike, which is actually handy because I can equip pikes while riding around on my griffin and we can poke dinosaurs to sleep. So that'll be cool. Uh, although a little bit scary. It's not the safest option. We've then got these um, long neck rifles. So to get the weaker one, I just need 2000 metal. <laughs> to get the better one, we need 5600 metal, okay? Uh, we can't afford either of those. As for the sniper rifle, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. A lot of cementing paste, metal lingots, obsidian, organic polymer, uh, polymer, sap. We need a lot. So we can't afford that. We're nowhere near being able to afford that. Um, but it's cool, I guess, to just see it there and kind of know we're getting closer to it. Um, how far was I from the pike, though? Hold on. It's not that expensive. 11 potent narcotics. Okay. I can kind of get my hands on these. They're not expensive. Narcoberry seeds, narcotics, tinterberry seeds. So we're going to need some seeds. Um, I'm also going to need the resources to start getting my... Like, I need rare flowers so we can start getting some healing potions going. Um, but I'm pretty sure the what I can actually do if I want to get this pike, I can grind a lot of this stuff up. We're not going to be using a lot of it. A lot of this is going to go to waste. So maybe that is the right option. Um, give me that. Uh, that's about it probably. Even this, I, I, like, I don't need to use a shotgun. I got no need to use a shotgun anytime soon. So we could probably just ditch it. Um, and then if I need another one, I can get another one, I suppose. I think. Maybe. Um, let's do that. But I don't have my upgrade station. Have we just never got an upgrade station? I guess we never crafted one. Yeah, I guess we never did. Well, now we got one. So, Awesome. <laughs> we can grind down some some stuff, some things, and we can um, start pulling some resources out of the loot that we're about to pull plentiful amounts of. All right, so, salvage. 
Just like that. All right, look at this. 34 potent narcotics. We got... Actually, I should keep primal bullets. Uh, all this other stuff, though. Salvage it again. Yep. Great. I mean, that's good. <laughs> that's some really good loot. I actually think we can use some of this over here. Um, if I want the pike, I can definitely get the pike now, right? I can get the pike. How far are we off of the long neck rifle, though? Just metal. Another 1,700 metal. I'm going to get the pike. I'm 100% going to get that pike. Bam. Replace it. We're now going to deal a lot a lot a lot more torpor so that's gonna be awesome and i just realized we've got a better pike up here what am i doing that one's even better than the one i've got this one here would have been cheaper i think too oh uh, about the same okay now nah, we made the right choice there i think all right cool let's go poke something and, and see what happens <laughs> let's see if it was worth it or let's just go and try and farm some dudes and get some nice loot oh i can finally actually like take some things down like these fuel hawks like that is just gonna be such a relief these guys suck so bad and unless you got something that can deal a good amount of damage you can't really do much about it um what we are gonna have to do though is keep our eyes peeled for any loot uh because i think if we kill something by fire we might not get the loot for it i was gonna be careful here because i don't know how much damage this beetlejuice thing deals so I kind of got to be careful, but I'm not being very careful, like, at all. Also, there's a Primal Tech Parasaur in here, too. Uh, I really got to be careful, then. Because uh, that will one-shot us, probably. Or bleed us out, at least. All right, this Beezle Juice gone. Primal Tech Parasaur. I wouldn't mind taking that down, though. Or this Parrot. That's it. Follow me. Follow me. Gotcha. Did you drop any loot for me, though? Got that Elemental Hide. No loot unless did it drop a bag on the floor. I don't think it did. No loot at all. All right, that's fine. Can I get a kill on this thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire damage does affect it. Like I said, though, you got to be careful. Because this thing will... This, well, you guys have witnessed what these guys can do. What I can do, though, is do these little dive bomb attacks and just do a ridiculous amount of damage. And that works out really well. All right, he's actually dropped some extra extra loot for us down here too. So that's pretty sweet. Thank you very much. What we can actually do now that we have all of this loot though. What's this? That was nothing. What we can actually do, and I completely forgot this even exists because I just, I feel like it's been so long since I've played with it. Um, soul balls. We can get soul balls. Now, if my memory serves me correct, I can't do this while I'm riding my guy though. If my memory serves me correctly, we can actually shoot loot bags and pick them up without, like, hopping off our, our, our tames. Um, so that'll be kind of handy. Let's also grab, like, 100 soul balls, I suppose. <laughs> we'll get those crafting. Now let's get moving. Let's see what we can find. But yeah. Uh, oh, wow. What is this? This all... Oh, okay. I see what's going on down here. This all, like every little bit of the success around here. What in the world? Just a raptor? Fair enough. It all comes down to one thing, though. If we get this griffin killed. Oh, I didn't even see that. Buffoon Massapithecus. Oh, he's going to drop bombs. There's also this tiny little primal tech, Stego. Uh, Triceratops, sorry. Um, something's going to go nuts here. Oh, this guy just died. Yeah, good for you. Hold on, I'm hearing explosions. Wait, is that the Ferox? Is that the Ferox? No, it can't be the Ferox. This is a different location. No, this is going to be the Manticore. Oh, yeah, Spirit Manticore escaped. Oh, no. No, that's not good. Ah, oh, okay. We didn't have to worry about him the last few days because he got himself stuck in this trench or this little canyon over here. He's escaped. Oh, all right. Well, it's probably not going to be long before he ends up in my base again. Um, we're just gonna scoot straight past him, pretend he doesn't exist. We're gonna keep on moving. Now, what we're looking for is not that. Oh no, 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 no. Wouldn't you? All right, I just heard something that I didn't recognize. All right, stop crafting. What did I just hear? Okay, something just made a roar that I did not recognize, but it was almost like, I don't even know. 
didn't it sounded a little bit un uh, uncomfortable <laughs> um oh oh no oh no oh no no i'm gonna jinx it i'm gonna jinx it oh i'm gonna jinx it i'm jinxing it oh <laughs> i forgot i forgot the celestial <gasps> that's right it's not a normal celestial that's a boss it just i just realized not not just any boss either that's like a tier two boss um okay you gotta leave me alone wyvern um oh my goodness I, it's a bit this long since i've played primal fear that i've forgotten the mechanics of it the celestial indominus rex empress uh, or emperor no that's the emperor and the emperor summons in celestial wyverns uh they despawn eventually uh but there we go okay Whew. i was gonna say hold on i gotta get a good look at this to see how strong it is these guys are tough very tough uh it, it, i mean just look at this mountain this was covered in trees a minute ago now it's wiped out um so yeah there he is 93 million <laughs> it powers up it does this big bombardment attack and it summons in wyvern minions we're gonna leave it alone uh that's death we're not ready for that just yet obviously it kind of goes without saying doesn't it uh but wow how did i forget that that thing even exists all right okay well we're we're, we're good <laughs> this is like the furthest we've ever been from base um and yeah we i guess we've, we've already faced one of the horrors that lives out here let's hope it stays well away from our base and we should be okay now what we are looking for are things like this i'm looking for alphas fable dinosaurs are really good for loot as well should really pay closer attention to what i'm actually fighting that's an alpha rex that's an alpha rex oh that would actually be a really cool team but then again we're kind of at that point where sticking to the skies is probably the better call um in fact <gasps> hold on what's that just a legendary pegasus <gasps> yo i think they can knock stuff out really well too from memory i can't remember exactly but i think they're pretty good um i think it may even be in our best interest to right, i gotta be careful here because i don't know how strong any of these things we're fighting are like to me they just look like brontosaurus you just never know though like i can one well, I can't one-shot these guys. Maybe that guy. I gotta get the Rex. That's what I wanna get. I just don't know what else is around, which is kind of why I'm treading with caution here. All right, if I can just die bomb him like twice, which I clearly cannot do, ah, but we can, uh, we can, we can breathe a little bit more safely. We got a few levels up our sleeve though, so let's just allocate these real quick. I'm gonna get some melee damage so I can deal some better torpor with my pike. Um, and then at least I can also see my health bar. Uh, sorry. I can see the stats on my little spyglass thing over next to my screen. Over in the corner of my screen, sorry. Uh, one more bomb. There we go. I got toxic blood? I didn't even realize I killed a toxic, but sure. Now, I can see some loot bags around the place. What do we got? Anything of interest? Sauropod vertebrae. There is one there. That's just a bag with nothing inside of it what's this just a regular parasaur just a regular raptor all right nothing of interest there unfortunately <gasps> but a melon or just a melon it's a melon it's a horse a flying horse a horse that can run it's kind of like a unicorn i suppose um they are cool they are very cool i don't have special kibble though just yet unfortunately so we can't get our hands on it but do they drop loot? I think they're really fast. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it. Just in case. It's a regular patchy rhinoceros. Tiny little Fibiomia just fell down the mountain. Mega Shellon. I do need to be careful with these guys because some of these some there's a variant of them that spawn and will annihilate us if given the opportunity. There's a demonic <laughs> Morelitops. <laughs> and a lot of dead sea creatures out here, too. Um Gosh, I did not feel comfortable out here. <gasps> Fabled Paris. Oh, that thing is strong. It's got a lot of health. Um, Omega. Is that an Omega? That's an Omega Rex over there. Okay, that is a high tier beast. Yeah, none of these creatures have ever actually spawned in. You can see the way they're all falling out of the sky. 
We've never been out here before. But this Parasaur, potentially, if I can kill it without getting hit by it, we can get some pretty solid well, potential loot out of it. And the more loot that we collect from... Okay, he just hit me for 8,000 health. I really got to get some health potions going. I think I think that's that's <laughs> that's a pretty important thing right this second. I got to be careful. All right, come on. There we go. Don't get pounced by it or stomped by it. Trounced by it? I don't know. It's so kind of hard to do though. There we go. All right, nice. I didn't get the loot. I'm just... Sorry, I'm just, I'm just treading carefully. Like I said, I don't know what's around here. There's the bag. All right, can I, can I do this? Let's have a look. No. Is that a Primal Tech Raptor? Hold on. That one shot me. That is, it's got a million health on it too. Oh, you're kidding me? Dude, there is some sick loot inside of that bag. Um, How can I get it? I mean, it's a lot of blueprints, but there's some flak leggings in there too. All right, let me just, just make sure. I'm not, I'm not just misfiring here. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, I was missing. <laughs> hey, all right, didn't need to touch the ground. So we got good leggings. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear these. These actually look pretty good. An amazing pickaxe. That's gonna help with metal. Uh, we've got ammunition. We've got some experience potions. Look at these blueprints that I can't afford and never will be able to probably. Um, that's insane. 16,000 cementing paste, and I have none of it. <laughs> Ooh. Demonic Parasaur, though. I was going to say, I might just get a quick harvest and then get my butt out of there. Um, I might just... <gasps> Micro Raptors. Yeah. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Let's go and suss out this little island over here where more fish are falling out of the sky and an origin die bear. Yeah, no thanks. Some Megapithecuses out here. Yeah, these origins, they don't mess around. We do need to be careful. Um, anything of interest out here, though? Big old Alpha Pegamastax. Let's get some more damage. Should be able to one-shot this now. Or not? I guess some of their health is, like, broken for whatever reason. Which is fair enough. Look how big this map is too. Such a beautiful map. Um, oh, hold on. What died down here? Pteranodon. But what killed it is probably the more important question. Chaos B. Oh, <laughs> okay. That will one shot us. In fact, look at everything just dying around us. Okay. And that, my friends, is why we need to be careful. That's like an insta kill on everything in the area. Um, no, thank you. However, I did just see, man, I just got to tread carefully. I thought I saw something down there. I'm not going to bother with it. Let's keep moving. Is it worth going over to the Redwood Forest? I don't know. Probably not. But let's have a little bit of a flyby. We'll see if there's anything on the, on the edge of the forest that might be worth taming up. And then we'll like, well, not taming. We're kind of more on a killing spree today, aren't we? But we'll see what we can find. All right. I can't waste this opportunity. Since all the barrels at the spawn points, like back at base, have uh, been destroyed. Yeah. Cementing paste and medical brews. Wait, can I feed them to my dinosaurs? Or are they only for humans? Because that would actually be really handy. Can't feed them to your dinosaurs. Only, only for human consumption, I suppose. Dang it. Worth a shot, though. Ooh, Alpha Kano. Why is nothing dying on the first hit? That thing had 18,000 health. I had to hit it twice to kill it. Is that a Reaper? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I should have known. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot about Reapers, man. I mean, we literally just saw the corrupted one, but I was like looking at that and I was like, what is going on there? That's an Alpha Reaper Queen. Um, okay, they don't mess around. And there's this little Alpha Reaper King companion as well. Um, yeah, no, thank you. I mean, the time will come, but that time is not now. 
Um, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Apex Kano. Ooh. You know, I could probably tame that. It's a female too. Could leave me Apex eggs. That, that, uh, that I could tame. Uh, if it wasn't for that thing, breathing fire right there, maybe. If I could get the Reapers. Never mind. I was going to say, if I can get the Reapers together with this thing, they can just take each other down and I can reap the benefits, but... I just... Oh, hold on. What's fighting over here? <gasps> Never mind. There's two of them fighting right here. I gotta be careful because I will get one shot. Being anywhere near this when it goes down. Uh, Reaper went down. Is Queen going to go defend it? Is the big question here. I think it might. Did the King drop any, uh, any loot? Come on, Queen. Pop up. Come on, Queen. No. I, I, I'm trying to be careful. But also try to stay like nearby so I can steal some loot from the encounter when it does go down. I can get it to pop out. Which I know how to do. Just bait it a little bit. There she is. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> it spawned in another king with it. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to mess around with these guys. But king is aggressive. King's definitely about to attack that again. I already know that. All right. You know what? Probably in my best interest to get out of here. So, so let's do that. This is uh, this is just an accident waiting to happen. And um, we don't need that. We do not need that right this second. So back home we go. This isn't home. But it's close enough. Yeah, let me get off the ground real quick. What is that? Africano. All right. Okay, yeah, this isn't... <laughs> not home. Um, yeah, I guess home's just over here, though. So let's do a little bit of a duck and a dive. Get our booty on over there. Or kill a Karkonos for some organic polymer. And try not to die, because we don't have a lot of health. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, these guys mean business. I'm not going to be able to harvest this. These guys are too angry with it. I might be able to, if I can like be quick about it, but I'm probably going to get frozen. Oh! No way. What just one shot me? What just one shot me? Oh, I called it happening. I am so dumb. I am so stupid. How am I alive, by the way? All right, we got to get out of here. Oh! <laughs> no way! I, I, ah! Uh, I'm more, I don't know what's more shocking right now, that I just did that or that I actually survived it. Wow, 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 wow. That is, that is terrible. Oh, look, if there is any positive, then there is no po oh gosh I, I just there's tech parasaurs over here oh my goodness hold on hold on they're just regular tech parasaurs what just attacked us oh no not fuel hawks man hey look at least i deal eight thousand torpor a, a hit now so that's nice but still um oh my goodness uh, i can't move i'm too heavy all right i gotta i gotta dump some stuff uh fish meat get out of here i just gotta like wah, come on man i, I don't want to die Come on. Yeah, get wrecked. That's what you get. That's what you get. Kicking a man while he's down like that. No, thank you very much. Oh, well, I did call it, didn't I? I said, we're going to do something dumb. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. But I did say if we end up losing that griffin, it's going to be a major setback. And uh, you know what? That is a major setback if I've ever experienced one. And we've experienced... Quite a few of them. Oh my goodness, there's a Rex down here with us. All right, look, it's not the end of the world. I do see a way out of this mess. Kind of. Um, let me just let me just unload this astronomical amount of weight that I'm carrying around currently. There we go. Much better. We got some metal on us too. Bam. Okay. Hopefully no one's creeping up behind me. Like a T-Rex, for example. What I can do is this. I can get a parrot saddle. <laughs> it's not going to get us around as quick as uh, as I'd like. But it's going to have to do. Parrot, come here. I've already learned that I can't grapple onto you. But what I can do 
He's grappling you towards me. It's not happening. All right, never mind. I'll grapple. I'll come to you. I'll come to you, all right? Yeah. Take your little... Take your saddle. I can put a hat on this thing, too. Oh, can I just give you my hat? <laughs> I think that's just armor. Because it definitely isn't displaying a hat. Uh, but, all right, you might have some pretty solid protection now. So, that's good. All right, it's not the end of the world. We still have flight. Watch me go and ruin that in the in the final minutes of today's video. Can I breathe fire on this guy? Oh, he deals more damage than the griffin does. No. All right. See? It's not all over. Has more health. This thing's got 116,000 health on it. Um, What else can this thing do? Oh, my goodness. All right. All right, so 2,000 melee damage. All right, that's it. That's it. I can do that. Pretty sure it can't dive bomb. So we don't have any of those crazy 20,000 damage. Dang it. We can't dive bomb. But what we can do, and this is where the fun happens. I can equip weapons on it. I can equip weapons on it. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we can dig ourselves out of this problem. Are you a female or a male? You're a girl too. You'll lay me eggs. That's good. Um, that griffin, that caustic griffin that we saw just earlier, that there. I can, um, I should be able to trap that. Should be able to chase it. Should be able to bowler it. And should be able to, uh, well, we can we can get that if, if ISO wants it. Um, that's the hat. <laughs> Wait, what? The hat sits, oh, you're flying on the hat? Okay, that makes very little sense. I assume this has got to do with a scaling problem since we're using like a, a scaling dinosaur mod that scales things in size. Uh, but that is not what I expected. Okay, cool. All right, I've just got done sorting through all our loot. There's a bunch of stuff. Uh, we broke some stuff down as well. Um, but it did make me ask the question, what did we actually achieve today? We got our griffin killed. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now.